Protegenos Muninos. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you lost your senses, Koga? Release her. She stole the idol of Sylvanas. She must pay the price. Sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The child's in danger. Do something, I beg you. Very well. I'll defer to your ruling. My circle has offered grace to these outsiders. We gave them shelter from storm. We nourished their bellies. In return, these devils lured in a horde of goblins. And their spawn stole the one relic that might keep us safe. We've taken back our relic. But I will keep the fiend caged till our protection rite is complete. I... I was scared. They said when the rite was over we'd have to leave. But there's goblins out there and worse. And it's nice here. So I... I took the idol. I thought maybe then we could stay. Please let me go. I'll be good, I swear. Well, Paladin. What say you? Thank you! Thank you, thank you! Sif-sif! Tila, to me! Out, thief. My grace has its limits. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin w- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Ha! Then you don't. 
You're wholly without vice or sin or the occasional lapse in judgment? No. You don't strike me as quite that boring. Yet she failed. That's what matters. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. She is first druid in Halcyn's absence. With him caught or dared by goblins, none may gainsay. But more will die if her ritual is finished. I doubt those exiled by the right will survive long outside. Would you? I would give anything to see Halcyn return home. Sylvanas's blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halcyn is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. On the ground and let them trample us. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Monster? <laughs> Too kind. A demon, more like. Yes, you would say so. I know you're kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the writers resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. The right of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the Grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Please leave. Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. Show some dignity and leave. You've burdened this place with your troubles long enough. Your bad behavior caught this guard's eye. What do you have to say? You wonder if all your problems could be so easily solved. For now, it's enough to have solved. Scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. 
Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. It's not much, but here. Know that if you call, we'll come running. No matter what. Yeah. I mean... Thank you. For helping me. Bells, it's our job to get us out of here safely. Not yours. It's my job too. The druids don't care about us. That girl. I don't care. Stupid and reckless. Ugh. I'm never gonna hear the end of this. If I'd got that stupid idol, I'd be a hero. A heroic thief? Mum? Dad, Mole? They all would have been so impressed. Mole said we had to do something, because the old folks weren't doing anything. They were talking when the druids were getting ready to throw us out. Why can't we just stay in until it's safe? Stop. You don't look so tough. Mole fought off a hobgoblin all by herself. We're going to own that town. Kind of short for an adult, aren't you? Oh, I remember you. You're the one who let the ugly human hit me. You want something? Were well, you just here to stare at my forehead? Yeah, okay, fine. Very funny. What do you want? This entire conversation is a waste of our time, don't you think? Now find yourself a maze and get lost. I'm busy. Pockets to pick. I had a feeling you'd be back. Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. Gotta say, I'm impressed. You saved Arabella from the druids. Don't know what those bastards would have done. We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to Baldur's Gate. Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? So what? Should we be panicking like everyone else? We have a plan. We're the ones who'll end up on top in the gate. Anything else? I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. You saw what those bastards that run the place were doing to Arabella, scaring the precious might. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. Sure. When we sell it in the city, I'll make sure you get your cut. The important thing is to get it away from them. That ritual's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's gotta be worth a small fortune. Figures. Don't think you've got the stones for the job anyhow. Anything else?
Anything else? You've been a friend to us. Come back anytime. Best be on my way. Charmed, I'm sure. Let's go. Swing and swivel and wait. Wait. Now land! Excellent. Stop! This place is off limits. Leave. Was inventory today? I'm sorry. Nerves are shot after the attack. Do what you gotta do. Sorry if I don't show you around. <sighs> I'd just fall back down. Legs are as steady as a foal's. Bloody potion! No! I'm just an idiot. I wanted an edge against the goblins, and I got it. I'm as strong as a bugbear. And fearless. But the old lady, she warned me of side effects. Should have listened. Now I'm stuck guarding crates. <laughs> Deadly serious. Still, the sooner this wears off, the better. Move! Swing and swivel and swivel. No <gasps> My legs! I can stand again! Did you do that? I... Thank you. Look. You're not really supposed to be here, but I'll turn a blind eye. Just don't touch anything, all right? Another step forward. <clears throat> the twilight is darker than expected. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. The ache builds as you squeeze your hands together. Were your fingers always so thick? Your skin always so sticky? Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. 
Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. I cannot trust my own mind, so it seems I must trust yours. I will wait, but know this, I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. Leave me alone. I do not have time to waste with you. It feels like we packed three days into one today. I'm exhausted. The tadpole? I don't know. But if anything happens to me, you know what to do. Let's just get some rest. Oh, what a night. What a god's damn... <coughs> Blood. That's a pretty sight. So give it to me straight. How do I look? Hmm. Canine is charged. You don't look so hot either, I might add. And neither do the others. So either the fish we had was bad, or... Or it might just be happening. Everything that's been happening to us so far has been most irregular. I mean, who's to say this is not just another anomaly among many? My way of saying I haven't a clue. I'm going to bed. Sleep if I can. Find some peace if that's possible. Meanwhile, I'll just pretend I had the fish. Enough waiting. I crave blood. A shiver racks your body. It takes a moment for will to come into focus. You've got wits of white steel. Can't say I'm not impressed. All we can do now is... <coughs> <coughs> See what the morrow brings. Your head swims with the slightest motion, and your legs feel heavy as iron. I reckon come dawn, we'll be... <coughs> <coughs> right as rainbows. Chosen, let me come to you. I can help you. I've been searching for you. You're always so far away. You frown in your sleep. There must be so much on your mind. His fingers are warm against your cheek, softer than expected. You think that you're sick, 
that you're dying. Are you afraid? You know. I think in your heart, you know. We wouldn't be here like this if it weren't destiny. Come now. I'll make you feel better. Let yourself go. Lean back. Why are you fighting me? I'm here to help you. The urge for violence lingers. You could push him again. You could cause so much pain. Well, if you want to wait, I'll wait. But I do have a parting gift. Well, look at you. Fit as a fox and twice as eager. I feel it too. Not just renewed, but improved. New talents aching for release. Don't tell me. Someone came to you. An object of desire made you better, more than better. Same happened to me. An old lover. Tempting as a trail of rose petals and just as fragrant. Teasing me with promises, with power, with release. I still shiver from the memory. Your flesh shivers too as your parasites resonate. Your mind's eye shows you not your dream, but wills. You hear the words once again. Let me come to you. I can help you. Yet it is a stranger who speaks them. A ravishing woman clad in the thinnest of silks. I truly believed it was her, till light of day broke. Her words so sweet. Let yourself go. I couldn't say no. A danger we aren't rid of, if I'm to believe her parting words. Meantime, let's relish our good health. I'm in such fine fettle I could slay a gold dragon. My blood is cleansed. My muscles still. I have been shown new might to tug foe and fiend into reach. Damn it all! Your gazes meet, and the memories of last night's dream course through you. The dream you resisted. Impressive. First, the tadpole sickens you. Next, it entices you with a cure. That you refused it tells me you've more courage than I considered. Ah, oh. good morning. And it truly is, isn't it? A very, very good morning. There's a glow about you, about everyone here. We all feel startlingly well. And yet there's a certain look in people's eyes, the far off distance of a haunting. What I saw surpassed the vivid. The voice was too true, the touch too tantalizing. I can tell you felt the same. It was an expert, this apparition. First the seduction, then the spurning, then that teasing souvenir. You're not ready. I will return when you are. That's what I was promised. We have some restless nights ahead of us. Yes. Almost pleasant, traveling with company. If you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. I told you already. It's none of your concern.
Hope you're keeping well, friend. Oh, thank you. That's... that's nice. Master, friend, I stayed with him until... until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him, but I'm glad to have met you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
The corpse does not. Moving in. This is my time. With a shock of psychic pain, the pack leader's mind clamps onto yours. You see yourself through her eyes, a pulsing red cluster of organs. Feast. No, a voice has forbidden this meat. Nor see your whole world as a meal. This voice is acting as a leash, but it won't hold them for long. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stares in response. A memory. The beast daubs the symbol of the Absolute on a cave wall in blood, buried deep. A tadpole struggles to assert control against the ravenous chaos of her mind. Mm. 
Sensing your presence, the Gnoll's tadpole writhes in ecstasy, echoing your command. Its host will feast on Gnoll flesh to control the hunger, to keep her teeth from your throat. Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten.
She is still ravenous, her mind a hungry pit. The flesh of her pack wasn't enough to satisfy her. That symbol in the blood, what does it mean? <sighs> Exhausted. Better find somewhere to camp soon. Thank the gods that's over. Might have been more survivors. I don't suppose you saw any of my crew alive out there. This whole journey's been one grim sight after another. Knolls, goblins, drow. Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Thanks, but that won't be necessary. We'll find help at Joaquin's rest. Listen, you look like you know how to handle yourself. You should meet my associates. We've got our own drinking spot by the tavern. Invitation only. Tell the fellow on the door. Little serpent, long shadow. He'll take good care of you. Aye, the whole reason we're in this mess. Trinkets for some rich tosser in Baldur's Gate. He gets his shiny baubles, 
We get a handful of Taranths. Taranths are the currency of the Zentarim, a network of merchants and mercenaries with few scruples. You know who we are. Very clever. And you probably also know it's not smart to interfere with Zent business. This is the point when a clever operator like you accepts my gratitude and walks away. Fine. No need for more violence. I'll tell my associates everything was lost in the ambush. The chest's all yours. Damn thing's sealed tighter than a duke's purse strings. So there's no point in trying to open it. And no hard feelings, you hear? I'd have done the same if I were you. Business at the end of a blade is still business. Ruthless bastard like you could make a name for yourself in the Zentarim. Make sure to drop by our hideout. So, you threatened your way into ownership of that chest. Now that it's yours, what will you do with it? So that means you're not curious as to what's inside. Very well, suit yourself. Something over there. Always room for more. <laughs> the chest's yours. I've got nothing else for you. And I don't want trouble. I'll be glad when we're out of this bloody cave.